In 1846, Dred Scott and his wife Harriet sued for their freedom from enslavement in a St. Louis court. Over a decade earlier, Scott's enslaver, John Emerson, had brought Scott with him as he moved from the slave state of Missouri to the free state of Illinois and, later, to the free Wisconsin Territory. During this period, Scott met and married Harriet Robinson, who became part of the Emerson household. In the early 1840s, the Emersons and Scotts returned to the slave state of Missouri, where John Emerson soon died. When Scott offered to purchase his freedom from Emerson's widow, she reportedly refused. And in 1846, Dred and Harriet Scott each filed a lawsuit for their freedom. The two cases were later consolidated into a single case under Dred's name. They argued that their time in free states and territories had already legally freed them. And this argument agreed with the once free, always free policy that prevailed in many U.S. states. But when a later version of the case made it to the U.S. Supreme Court, Chief Justice Roger Brooke Tawney wrote a majority opinion that ignored precedent, distorted history, and refused the Scots their freedom. The court ruled that without national citizenship, African Americans could not sue in federal courts in the United States. And it didn't stop there. Led by Tawney, the court decided that Congress should never have had the legal power to approve or deny slavery in territories in the first place. The Dred Scott decision not only denied Dred and Harriet their freedom, but it also overturned the Missouri Compromise and the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which had attempted to maintain a delicate sectional balance between North and South as new U.S. states and territories were added to the expanding United States. The Dred Scott decision was immediately repudiated by most of the Northern United States, and it has long been considered one of the worst judicial decisions the Supreme Court ever made. Dred and Harriet Scott remained enslaved until 1857, when they were freed by their enslavers. The next year, Dred Scott died of tuberculosis. Harriet lived for almost 20 more years, long enough to see the 13th Amendment to the Constitution abolish slavery in the United States. For more, visit Britannica.com.